and if we're careful, still make some liquid carbon dioxide. And this is what I'm going to try and do now. I'm going to put some of these solid carbon dioxide into this very, very thick-walled test tube. There we are. So here I have some solid carbon dioxide in the test tube. I'm going to put the lid on this and do it up. And put this into some water here, just so it doesn't frost over. Now, what's going on here? The solid carbon dioxide is turning straight into a gas, and you can actually see the pressure building up inside this test tube. There's nowhere for the gas to come out. So the gas takes up much more space than the solid, and as the solid turns into the gas, nowhere to go. The pressure is building up, building up, building up. Well, this would be very dangerous, but there is a valve to let some out later. But look what's happening down the bottom here. As the pressure builds up, and it's just beginning to build up a little bit more, look what's happening to the solid carbon dioxide. It's melting. So we can get, there we are, liquid carbon dioxide. It's now forming liquid carbon dioxide, and there it is in the bottom of the test tube. It's melted to give me some liquid in there. There we are. Now, if I release the pressure very, very quickly, okay, watch what happens. It's gone back to the solid as the pressure's released because it's still very, very cold. Now, I'll close it off again, and then that will help it melt again as the pressure builds up, and the whole thing will do it again. This liquid carbon dioxide is actually really useful because we can use it to dissolve things that wouldn't normally dissolve in water. So, for instance, if I wanted to extract the caffeine out of this coffee but leave all the nice taste of the coffee there, well, we can use carbon dioxide, liquid carbon dioxide, to dissolve the caffeine. And this was decaffeinated using this. This is a good way to do it because we don't need any poisonous solvents to dissolve the caffeine. Okay? We know that carbon dioxide isn't poisonous because we know that we breathe it out all the time. Okay.